if you are familiar familiar with discovery you might recognize this this is usually what you see when you go into discovery we're in the model view down here so this chair has been created in discovery in the model section however i will now go into the simulation part or explore as it is called so if i go down here and press this button now we're in the explore mode so this is where all the simulation happens so the first the first thing that I'm going to do is that I'm going to, to hide this part, the wooden part, because I'm not interested in this in the simulation. So I'm going to hide it, and I'm also going to press here to exclude it from the simulations. So now we just have the metallic frame. The second thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to change the material, right? So here we have this selected, and I'm going to double click here. And now you can see we have a lot of materials. This is because I have access to the full Granta uh, selection. However, I will go into my local library and choose this alloy steel ASI that we talked about before. This is now selected as we can see here. The next step I'm going to do is that I'm going to add some loads to this chair. So I can go up here and choose force. And I will apply it here where the force is from the sitting or the seat pad where it'll go in. I will type in 900 newtons and press enter. So now this is applied and it pops up here. You can see. The next step is that I will add a boundary condition down here. So I will mark these like this. And I can also use the heads up display, which is here. And I will add a support and we will use a fixed support. We also have this down up here now. So what happens now is that you can see down here in my right corner that this icon here that was gray before I added this, these two conditions. Now it's green, which means I can solve. So now discovery knows that I will want to run the static structural simulations. And if I press this, see what happens it's running it's a solving and now it's complete so now we can see here on the screen what's that we have some displacements we can also make them a bit bigger we can also run to see how make a small animation we can also go in and look at for example the one means the stresses to see where we have the high stresses. However, this is not what we're going to do now. So I just wanted to show you that. What we're going to do now is that we're going to show the variations. So what we can do now is that we can go in here where you see there's this icon. It says that we have some parameters. So if I press that one, press the parameters, you see that I already have added two parameters, so the outer radius and the inner radius. So I will not show you how to add uh, geometrical parameters. This is quite easy to look up on your own and be present for a long time in discovery. However, I will show you how you can add the environmental parameter. This is new to ANSYS Discovery 2024R1. So if you go up here and measure, measure you can see this environmental properties which we press and we select the body. Now it pops up here with the climate change, the CO2 equivalent, the embodied energy and the recyclable material mass. So this is what we're interested in, the climate change CO2 equivalent. So if I press this one, these two icons pop up and I can add this as a output parameter. So I press this one and we go back into the parameters and we see that I've added a new parameter here, an output parameter. The next step we can do is that we go into variations. So here we can see that we have one variation. It is very easy now to add the different variations. So it's just by adding a variation, we get a new row and I can change the outer radius and the inner radius. I will not add everyone, all the cases here because it takes too much time and also to solve, it takes a bit of time and we don't have that. So I will do as you do in the cooking shows and I've prepared an example here. So I, you see the, the new screen, right? 
Can you confirm, Jacob? Yeah, great. So what I did here was that I created all of these 12 different cases that I showed earlier. First, I ran the six steel cases. Then I changed the material and ran the aluminum ones. This is why we have the yellow symbol here, which is results out of date, because I did a change to something in the chair, which is in this case, the um, materials. Um, but the results are still up to date. So now we have gone, now we have run all these simulations and now we want to make an assessment, right? So one thing that you could do is that you could export it by this to export, ex, export it as a CSV and look at it in Excel, for example. However, you can also do it right here in discovery, which is what I'm going to do. So we press this button and we get a small little graph here. So here we have all the cases that we have run. So now we can change what we have on the axis. I, so I will here on the x-axis, I will have mass. I think that is great. And on the y-axis, I will have the minimum displacement. Uh, and of course, you can add different monitors. So you can monitor different things in the model, for example, displacement or mass or anything that you want. Uh, I have chosen this one. So mass and minimum is set for um, displacement. The other thing I can do is to highlight something. So I wanted to highlight the climate change. So now we get these nice color plots. So we can see like green is low CO2 emission and red is high CO2 emission. So to the to my left here, we see this is the aluminums, right? They are lighter in mass, but have a quite high CO2 impact. And on the right, we have our uh, green, this is our steels. So I will now find two suitable candidates. So I think that one requirement is that the chair should be comfortable. So it can't be too stiff, but not too soft. I think that around two, uh, 20 millimeters is quite fine, two centimeters displacement. So for, for the uh, aluminums, we might be some something around here maybe. So for instance, these two cases we can compare. So if we're hovering above, we get all the information. So here we can see that, for example, the safety of factor is 2.09. And for this one, the safety factor is 1.69. So I, I, I will go with this one. I think this is a suitable candidate. Quite high safety factor and okay displacement properties. So we choose this one, aluminum two. So this is the outer radius of 16 millimeters and the inner radius of 13 millimeters. So then we will choose a steel, a steel variation as well. So maybe we should go with this one or this one and i think that here the case for this one steel 5 is much better it's lighter and also have the lower co2 impact and the safety factor is quite fine so we will go with this one the steel 5 so steel 5 and aluminum 2. so just feel free to send a question to our email addresses or contact either of them so um, feel free to reach out if you want to discuss this more Thank you.